Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to create a simple GraphQL server in Go. So let's see how we can do that. We'll have we will have two sections, schema and query. So let's see what's in schema. We can say fields equals to GraphQL dot fields. And we can say welcome. Dot field. We can say we will have a type GraphQL dot string. And we will have a resolve. We use this resolve function is triggered whenever this particular field is requested dot resolve perhaps we can have interface comma error and this will return what we need we'll say welcome to graph code comma error And let's for the simplicity we can call it as A B C D. Let's say GraphQL dot object config A B C D comma fields fields and then we can call this as XYZ equals to graphql dot schema config called as query graphql ql dot new object that we will have our abcd and we can call this a schema dot we have a variable ql dot new schema and that will have xyz if error not equals to nil We can say a uh, field to create create scheme. Now we can have our query query we welcome. params graphql so uh, we have a variable params graphql dot params say schema schema comma a request string this is query GraphQL dot do params params so we can say if len dot a dot errors if this is greater than zero then we can say print log dot fatal failed to connect to GraphQL. JSON command. A. 
FMT. The graph Q. Okay, now let's run this. Go run main.go. Perfect. So now we are able to set up a really simple GraphQL server and make a really simple query to this server. This is a schema. In this, making queries against our GraphQL API. We then do some error handling and then marshal the response into JSON and print it out on our console. So this is what a simple GraphQL server looks like. So guys, if you like my video, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.